Well, I just posted a video. Apparently, it doesn't go to the group, so it's real nice. So, I just posted a uh, Yelp and Google review pointing to the Facebook group page that I created. So, this video is to Nissan Parkway. You're embarrassing. You call yourself a professional, whatever, selling cars. Clearly, this car was never checked. I posted uh, documentation stating the mileage when this car was in a diff different shop, tire shop. And uh, the fact that I drove 500 miles and my car is basically dead, it's embarrassing. And then I found out that down the road was a Dodge dealership that your salesman said that you guys outsourced this car to be inspected by an off-party, not the Dodge dealership. So either you guys are fools or he is a liar. I don't know. Probably a liar, I'm going to say. So, since I bought this car and I was last in the shop, this car has been in my garage. I've had to hear my wife bitch about not being able to park her car in my garage because I had to tear apart this car because you've been me over the table. And other people are going to see this. So, right here is my valve covers. Uh, this is my intake right here. Coils. Harmonic balancer. There's, we got push rods here, intake, exhaust, lifters. Um, three, five. Got my lifters here. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, you guys screwed me. This car. Right there is my camshaft. And the camshaft was destroyed by the failed lifter that I found. I'm going to tore the car apart. Right there is a the head. Right there is my other head that I'm cleaning up. Put back on this car. He sold it to me for $8,600. And Oh, I'm sorry. It was advertised for $8,600 which I have photos of the Facebook page and you decided to tack on uh, an extra thousand fifty so that was, that was real great um, but you know this you guys stand by your your cars do you I mean not your average guy over here you just fisted I might sue. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Might might still try to pursue it. I don't know. Created this this page so that other people who go on Facebook and search for you will hopefully find my Facebook group and they see my photos and my videos and the photos and videos. I hope make someone think twice about buying a used car from you guys. Clearly, this car was never inspected. In fact, I know a co-worker who said that he looked at this car, and it was knocking, and it was low in oil. I found that out that I bought it. And when I went, it wasn't knocking. So, you knew it was knocking. Had to have known, and you topped off the oil. Unless you're calling him a liar, I don't know. I have no idea. It's kind of hard to tell other people that kind of hearsay but think of how I feel right now after I heard that I actually literally call him I don't ever uh, I never call other co-workers very often I actually called him about it and talked about it you know didn't find out about the bad lifter until I took the heads off this car I kind of speculate that was the problem when the intake valve rocker arm was not connected so you know I, I wasn't sure if it was actually a uh, a down lifter or, or or the valve was messed up but after I took the heads off figured it out that it was that then I had to go buy a new cam because the cam was destroyed so 
kind of interesting because you sold this car to someone who went to a mechanic shop school so when went on you so I don't know if you guys scam people I really don't because I mean it, it looks like you do I mean you sell a car or you advertise it and I, I, I get maybe maybe uh, someone doesn't know what the price of the car is maybe so I could maybe let that slide but the fact that you didn't have the car inspected, and I kind of speculate that um, someone just parked the car and you just sold it as is. I mean, shit, why didn't you just put on the little piece of paper, as is, instead of giving them the warranty? So I don't know if you're scamming people, but, you know, you sell a car for, what, not, well, you sold it to me for 9 6 And you get a 20% discount on parts and labor, okay, whatever. And, uh, so how much money are you going to add on to this car repairing it? Now, granted, it went down the street to the Dodge dealership or the Ford, whatever the hell it is. I, I'm not really sure. A hybrid dealership? I don't know. But the appearance is you're making more money off this repair me i mean maybe you knew what was wrong with the car and you just felt like fisting someone to make more money so appearances can mean a lot but i'll never know will i and then now and other people that see these videos will never know either maybe you guys sell i'm sure you guys sell great new cars probably do i would never trust you ever again selling a used car you're embarrassing So, I hope I hope bending me over the table was worth worth this. And your sales manager was rude as fuck. Spent all day avoiding my calls. That day, whatever, and I found out how much this repair bill was going to be. Didn't want to work with me at all. Five hundred mile car driven, five hundred miles of five thousand seven hundred dollar repair bill. Are you fucking high? You think after I just got a loan? That I'm gonna freaking drop another sick grain in this? I want some of that shit you're smoking. I grant out to take off from work if I, if I you know, if it's really that good. Because, you know, we, we get drug tested, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, the fuck, dude. So I hope this is worth it. Because I'm not taking these videos off, and they're on YouTube. So, permanently on there. Still don't know if I'm going to sue you or not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Probably not. He probably got away with it. I mean, not suing you. I mean, every time I look at how much money and time I've invested in this, you know, just really uh, chaffs my ass, let me tell you. So, so keep it up. And I found out, shit, everyone I talk to at work doesn't even want to buy a used car from me, which is fucking amazing. I wish I'd talked to people at work before I went over there. You know, I really did. I really wish I did. So, it's not very rare someone gets something someone something on me. And uh, you, you got me. You definitely got me on this car. You know, I could have bought a full regular car with regular interior the whole idea of me buying this car was it was cheap and granted you know these cars get you know a police car or whatever yeah you know i expected brick work and whatever in fact i think i gotta replace a wheel bearing i even got that far but uh you know yeah i understand that but hell i could have bought a freaking dodge charger same model, whatever, probably, what, 14, 15? I would have regular back seats. You know? You know? I mean, it's not a regular car, you know? <laughs> Hell, I still got the goddamn party cage in here. You know? Oh, there's some more new parts I bought. That's got to go in the car. 
when I went and got tires for this car, I told him I wanted a diagnosis of the check engine light. Now, they were going to give me a tune-up, which was $900. They didn't actually diagnose the car. And that was documented in the paperwork, whatever I got. So, if I would actually dropped $900 cash on that, it would have been out another $1,000 because of you people. Because I wasn't the problem. Now, I kind of assumed there was a problem. In fact, I actually... I had some videos of me replacing the coil and the spark plugs, and that wasn't a problem. I, hell, I even went as far as replacing the fuel injector. The very basics. So if I did not know anything about cars, and I was at that tire shop, and I dropped another $1,000, there would have been another $1,000 I would have lost. I'm trying to fix that chicken engine light. So think about them apples. So right now I'm waiting for my father to come by so I can put the heads back on this car. Make sure they're seated right. That's why I'm making this video nice and detailed. Don't you guys love me? So I hope that you guys remember this car in the pictures of this car and always remember was it worth bending someone over the car over the, the table with this car so yeah have a good day keep selling those cars